How's it going, our best followers? Neymar's return to Barcelona is closer than we think. PSG have completed Ramos's move and are already chasing their next target. And Saudi Arabia are seriously considering to lure Mo Salah out of Liverpool. Press the like button, subscribe, and let's get started with the news. PSG have signed striker Gonzalo Ramos from Benfica on a season-long loan with an obligation to buy for 65 million euros plus 15 million euros add-ons. Lyon have signed former Arsenal midfielder Ainsley Maitland-Niles on a four-year contract, the Olympic Press Service confirmed. Inter Milan have signed goalkeeper Jan Zommer from Bayern Munich for €6 million Euros on a three-year contract. West Ham United have reached a full agreement to sign Ajax midfielder Edson Alvarez for £35 million, writes Fabrizio Romano. Real Sociedad have inquired about signing Arsenal left-back Kieran Tierney on a loan deal. PSG forward Kylian Mbappe would be prepared to spend a season in the Premier League on loan before securing his dream move to Real Madrid. Harry Kane? I can't say much about that. I'm really happy with how our team is. A world-class player can help our team, but I'm happy with what we have. Abend Zeitung reported the words of Bayern Munich midfielder Jamal Musiala. Atalanta have signed striker Gianluca Scamacca from West Ham for €25 million Euros plus €5 million Euros add-ons on a contract until 2028. Gonzalo Ramos will play for Paris Saint-Germain under number 9, the club's official website states. Juventus are looking to rival Manchester United for Sofian Amrabat, with the Italian powerhouse set to include Arthur Melo in a deal with Fiorentina. Liverpool have made a third bid to Southampton over the signing of Romeo Lavia, worth around £45 million, though it has been rejected, according to the Times. Alvaro Morada has decided to stay at Atletico Madrid after discussions with Diego Simeone. I received two proposals, Al Hilal and Al Ali wanted me. I decided to turn both down as I want to stay at Roma. Jose Mourinho was quoted by Corriere dello Sport. Bernardo Silva is very close to extending his contract with Manchester City, but he is ready to wait one or two more days for Barcelona, Mundo Deportivo reports. Borussia Dortmund are keeping tabs on Red Star Belgrade defender Stefani Lekovic. PSG's latest bid for Lyon forward Bradley Barcola, worth €30 million Euros plus add-ons, has been rejected again, journalist Fabrice Hawkins understands. Real Madrid winger Vinicius Jr. has appeared on the cover of the mobile version of EA Sports FC. Napoli have confirmed the signing of Brazilian RB Bragantino defender Nathan for €10 million. Euros. Ajax goalkeeper Geronimo Rulli is a new name on Bayern's list of candidates to replace Jan Zomer, journalist Florian Plettenberg informs. Lionel Messi has become the first player in history to reach 20 goals in 17 consecutive years. West Ham United have offered Manchester United £60 million for Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay, according to The Athletic. Former Barcelona midfielder Andreas Iniesta will join Emirates Club from the UAE. AS Roma defender Roger Ibanez will undergo his medical with Al Ali today after the club's agreed a deal worth €33 million, Euros, Sky Italia writes. Werder Bremen will sign AC Milan's fullback Fode Balo Touré for around €5 million. Euros. Ansu Fati would be willing to leave Barcelona if he receives a lucrative offer, claims Matteo Maretto. AS Monaco made an official offer for Valerin Balogun, but Arsenal have reportedly turned it down. Manchester City defender Emerick Laporte has been offered a contract in Saudi Arabia with a salary of €20 million Euros per season, but the player has not yet responded. Napoli have lodged a €30 million Euro bid for Celta Vigo midfielder Gabri Vega, but the Olavicos have rejected their proposal, Football Italia notes. RB Leipzig are finalising a deal for Feyenoord defender Lucerel Getreuda. Real Madrid are still harbouring the idea of signing Rhys James from Chelsea in 2024, Todo Fichajes assures. Yesterday, we had a couple of intriguing friendlies as well as matches of the Women's World Cup round of 16. The results are in front of you. And now it's time for the most interesting news of the release. PSG striker Neymar's agent Pini Zahavi is working to bring his client back to Barcelona on a season-long loan, writes insider Gerard Romero. 
ESPN adds that Barca are much more likely to go for Neymar than to sign Bernardo Silva from Manchester City. Besides, according to L'Equipe, the Brazilian has already notified the PSG board that he wants to leave the Catalans before the transfer window shuts in order to once again play in a Barcelona shirt. Blaugrana president Juan Laporta is interested in Neymar's second spell at Camp Nou, but head coach Xavi Hernandez still has doubts about the deal as a whole. Tottenham Hotspur have rejected Bayern Munich's 100 million euro bid for Harry Kane. The Bundesliga champions will now have to decide whether to keep hunting for the forward. The Bavarian's latest offer was not enough to convince Spurs president Daniel Levy, who completely ignored their bid at first. In the near future, De Roten must decide whether to improve their offer for the Englishman or admit defeat in their attempts to take Tottenham's leader. At the same time, the Lily Whites still hope to keep the Three Lions captain and have offered their record scorer an improved contract. However, there is no sign that Kane would want to accept it. Thus, the North London club risk losing him for free next summer. After landing Gonzalo Ramos from Benfica, PSG have no intention to hit the brakes and thus continue their pursuit for Eintracht Frankfurt attacker Randall Kolo Muani. FIFA journalist Abdella Bulma informs that the talks between the Parisians and the Eagles are progressing well with both sides confident that the deal will be successfully completed soon. Kolo Muani has already expressed his desire to leave the club this summer after just one season at Eintracht though the Moody Diva will only let him go for the right price. The German side demands at least 100 million euros. Kolomolani could become PSG's 10th summer transfer after the transfers of Manuel Ugarte, Lee Kang-in, Marco Asensio, Cher Deur, Milan Skriniar, Lucas Hernandez, Arnaud Tenis, as well as Gonzalo Ramos and Usman Dembele. Real Madrid have enough funds to pull off one more huge signing this transfer without having to sell any of their footballers, according to Relevo. The club has a strong and healthy financial position which can afford them to recruit a new star even after spending 100 million euros on Jude Bellingham. Of course, PSG's Kylian Mbappe still remains Real Madrid's most coveted target. Los Blancos coach Carlo Ancelotti is excited about a possible collaboration with the Frenchman, so the Merengues are waiting for the right moment to get the deal done. Meanwhile, Spanish journalist Rodrigo Fayez goes on pushing the intrigue to its fullest. Killing Mbappe to Real Madrid will happen. PSG and Real will reach an agreement. There are things and screenshots that I will show you when the operation is done. This time I cannot tell everything because it would compromise the sources, says Fayez. There may have been a breakthrough in talks between Chelsea, Brighton and Hove Albion regarding Moises Caicedo. Insider Pedro Almeida claims the deal is now in the final stages, meaning Chelsea are likely to have agreed to pay the Seagulls £100 million for the Ecuadorian. Since May, Casiedo has had agreed personal terms with the Blues, so the midfielder is very keen to end up at Stamford Bridge. It's about two clubs who can shake hands already this week. Saudi Pro League outfit Al Ittihad will offer Liverpool €60 million Euros for winger Mohamed Salah. The Tigers of Asia, who recently bought central midfielder Fabiano from the Reds, have now targeted Salah and have prepared a two-year deal for the Egyptian with a salary of €90 million Euros per season. However, it will be quite a difficult task to convince Liverpool because of the three years contract that Salah extended with the Reds last summer. Playing for the English team since 2017, Salah played 305 appearances, netted 186 goals and delivered 79 assists. Friends, we highly recommend you to check out top videos from our other projects. They have already appeared on your screens. Look, there they are. So just click on the links now. Enjoy. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next episodes.